optimist. Now I can't hear myself. But that's not so bad either. Halasso tattoo. Yo. Okay, seems like they hear us back there. Maybe it's just... Okay, uh, this is... This is... This is Gopal Swami, my godfather from France, who Prabhupada told to finish his medical school, and uh, still live in your little hut. Live in your little hut? Two little huts. Very, very austere. Mud, mud hut or wood hut. That was what I wanted in Krishna Valley, but the devotees weren't willing to do it. No, it's not a matter of showing. <laughs> They're still not willing to live like that. Hare Krishna. You're going to have as much psychological difficulty with this as I do. Okay. This is Mayapur. This is the real Mayapur here. This is uh, Nitai Chan. This is the moon of Lord Nityananda. Ore Kabe Nitai Chan Karuna Hoi Be. Samsara Bhashara Murakabi Tuchahabi. So it says that if you uh, if you stay under the shelter of this moon, then you'll become liberated. So now just follow the moon. Uh, of course the real moon is Chaitan Alodityananda. Bevajun Kapchova Namsat Kasilakis. Not to do Chudani. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, now Tam Dastak goes writing like that, that, Ore Kabi Nikai Chan Karuna Hoi Be Sham Shara Bhashana Mora Kabi Tu Chahabi That, uh, when you get Lord Vityananda's mercy, then yes, you become liberated and there's, uh, you become qualified uh, actually for progressing on to the next stage of spiritual life, which is uh, developing love for Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm not even going to try to uh, talk. Too difficult to concentrate. I'm going to try to uh, try to see if we can we can sing. Now, are you okay, Brecha, or was it? This is Ashalata who's sitting on your feet. It's okay, she's so light anyway, you'll never notice. Esha, no, my Dakota. And we're going to uh, try to compete with, uh, this doesn't work, Hare Krishna. We're going to try to compete. Hare Krishna. But we got nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's as good to buy a name on Valami Mash to look to the eyes. Must I need? Cross it and put better as we do. 
mindent kellett volna bérelni. Hare Krishna. Okay, now you have to look up a uh, you have to look up a song on the internet. And that song is called by Lochanda Stakur Nitai Gunamani. Which uh, we just sing in the uh, tune of uh, we sing in the tune of uh, the Gora Arti, so it's really quite easy. And uh, I guess before that we need to warm up a little and. And uh, Hare Krishna, I'm trying to concentrate, it's not easy. Of course we could put off this program till tomorrow. Nitai Gunamani, who's got the song? Nitai Gunamani? Oh, that's good. Okay. Hare Krishna. Okay, I got a little feeling of dominance here. Vishnu Padaya, Vishnu Padaya, Vishnu Padaya, One day that we broke down. Shemati Bhakti Vedanta, Muy Kritik, Shaminiti Namine, As it, as it's Muy Kritik, Sarasati de, 
First, the translation. So this is a uh, wonderful song by uh, Lochandas Thakur. Prabhupada says that his songs are like those of Narottam Das. Wrote many, many. Actually, wrote books of songs. And so he says in the following way. He says, my Lord Nityananda, the jewel of all virtues, my Lord Nityananda, the jewel of all virtues, has brought the flood of ecstatic love of God that has drowned the entire world. Bringing this overwhelming deluge of prema when he returned to Bengal from Jagannath Puri on Lord Chaitanya's order, Nitai has inundated the assembly of devotees. The fallen non-devotees did not drown, however, but remained floating on that ecstatic ocean. Lord Nityananda freely offered this exalted prema, which is difficult for Lord Brahma to attain, even to the fallen and wretched souls who did not deserve it, desire it. The ocean of mercy has formerly been sealed tight but Nittai cut a channel in its boundary to allow the great flooding waves of nectarian prema to splash from house to house. Lochandas says, whoever has not worshipped my Nittai or taken advantage of this excellent opportunity offered by him knowingly commits suicide. Jai Nittai! Jai Nittai! Okay, now we go back again. Nitai Kunamani Ama Nitai Yeah. 
This, uh, this first line, which is the refrain of the song, just like Kiba Jayo Jaya Gaurachan, is, uh, is a mantra that devotees uh, can sing. Um, and uh, that first line, at least I what happened to the moon? Oh. Uh, take in different ways. And that is the Nitai Gunamani. That uh, Lord Nityananda, he is full of all good qualities. Uh, you may, uh, there's always a origin of everything. So if we talk about the origin of good qualities, what is what is that origin from which this good qualities or good potencies uh, come from? And uh, if we study, then we'll find, I'm speaking slowly just so the devotees can translate if that's necessary and uh, all good qualities come from one quality which is huh? Huh? what did he say and what it is, oh, humble, no, no, huh? No, I mean, they're all devotion. Anything else? All good qualities come from one quality, and that is Krishna's Kripa Shakti, Krishna's quality of mercy. And that quality of mercy that uh, governs over all other qualities. It's like the king. And it, uh, it is the fountainhead of other qualities, and it's also the uh, best uh, of uh, all the uh, qualities, of which other things are just a little touch. Uh, of or aspect of this Kripa Shakti, Kripa Guna. The uh, mercy of uh, Krishna is fully actually manifest here in Navadvipta. And uh, that's why it feels good. It on, it's only manifest better in one other place which is Eka Chakra, yes. In Eka Chakra, hey Radharani. In Eka Chakra, it's manifest even better, even fuller, because one thing is that here is, mercy is here, but uh, mercy may be here, but it's only good if you're getting it. So as it's described here, Lord Nityananda is breaking down all barriers and distributing that mercy to everyone. So Lord Chaitanya says that Vishaya Charya, that if you give up all bad habits, then you get Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. But Lord Nityananda doesn't ask for anyone to 
give up their bad habits. He just uh, gives indiscriminately. Uh, for one reason is that he is overwhelmed and always absorbed in ecstatic love of Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In fact, specifically Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lloyd Nityananda's uh, inclination is to make known Lord Chaitanya's glories. When uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri, first he went to Jagannath Puri uh, from Navadweep and he stayed there for a few months and then without wasting any much time then he started to go on his tour of India. We say South India, or actually he went south and he went north uh, and then he crossed over and went west, east. So, uh, and when he came back and when Lord uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned to Puri, at that time many of his other associates by the arrangement of his spiritual potency. They also started to come. Swarup, Ram, uh, Swarup Damodar and uh, other Vaishnavas all came towards Puri. And the devotees of Navadweep, uh, they all came. A good few hundred devotees from here and Shantipur and other places uh, where they were living. Then they joined together and Shivananda Sen organized the trip for them to go to uh, Jagannath Puri. So at a certain point Chaitanya Mahaprabhu finally told when the devotees were returning here to Mayapur, he told Lord Nityananda, he said, I Listen, I want you to go, and I want you to go and uh, preach in Bengal. And you have to remember, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, now I forget exactly when he came to uh, uh, Navadweep here in terms of time. Uh, there's a 13 years difference between Lord Nityananda and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nityananda Prabhu is 13 years older. And uh, he had been wandering uh, around India and then living in Brindavan Dam until he got news that Lord Chaitanya was beginning to reveal his Sankirtan movement, chanting Hare Krishna. And at that time when he received that news in uh, Vrindavan, then he made his way uh, over here. So that was Lord Chaitanya's 16th year or sometime thereafter. How long did it take the news to get there? How long did it take him to get here? Uh, and you know what he did in between. So anyway, something like that, Lord Chaitanya's 16th, 17th, 18th year, Lord Nityananda came and he, he stayed here in Mayapur uh, right up until the time that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, left uh, to take sannyas, at which time Lord Nityananda went with him. And then, of course, he was there. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spent almost two years traveling around uh, the southern part of India. So then he uh, uh, he uh, came here uh, with uh, Lord uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with the uh, with the idea that uh, yeah he was going to also stay here, Mother Sachi asked him to uh, 
stay here in uh, Jagannath Puri, ask Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to stay in Jagannath Puri and uh, not really travel around or go elsewhere. It was a it was a standard pilgrimage place. Uh, devotees would come to Jagannath Puri for Rath Yatra uh, or to take darshan of Jagannath. And then devotees would go from Puri to Sridhar Puri to bathe in the Ganga because that was considered to be the major uh, pilgrimage. So Lord Nityananda is of this uh, he settled down and he's in this mood that now I'm going to stay with Lord Chaitanya. Already Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wouldn't let him accompany him to South India. Now uh, he's telling him, you should go to Bengal. Bengalis are... When, uh, when we first used to come to uh, Calcutta. We used to fly fly into Calcutta and the airstrip airstrip in Calcutta was about as big as this over here and the uh, airport was about as big as this room over here. So when we went there to get on a plane, we were more just mostly outside. So it's outside, you get through the room, do you remember? Seventy five, six, seven. And uh, you go through the room and get your tickets, and then you just, you either get on the plane, or uh, you're just on the uh, tar tarmac. Things were pretty loose at that time. Now, I don't know who had such an active imagination to call the airport Dum Dum Airport. <laughs> now, in English, I don't know if you know, dumb, dummy means you're stupid, so Dum Dum Airport. So this was called Dum Dum Airport. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Dum Dum Airport. I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> so anyway, this was the Dum Dum Airport. And when we finally used to drive out of Dum Dum Airport, then there's, uh, there's a big uh, advertising sign. Those signs are still there. But of course the billboards are there, but uh, they've uh, they've changed somewhat. And uh, so it was a big welcome, and it said, "Welcome to West Bengal, the land of intellectuals." <laughs> well, how can you be intellectuals if the place is called Dum Dum? <laughs> Now they changed that welcome sign since then. <laughs> Land of intellectuals, but it's considered that the Bengalis were very intelligent and uh, very sort of politically motivated, minded, and so on. Very clever, very good at organization and, and, and other things I won't talk about. So uh, that uh, intellectual nature, Lord Chaitanya said, they're all just speculators over there. You have to speak about Krishna. You have to chant Krishna's name. But you go and can you find find that in here? The uh, Raja Krishna, Guru Krishna. But in the, it's in the beginning, I forget how it starts. How does it start? Huh? Oh, that's a different song. 
Okay, never mind. We'll sing that anyway, but no, there's a different... It has that also. Bolo Krishna, Bajra Krishna, Shika. So, uh, Lord, uh, Lord Nityananda didn't really, wasn't very keen on leaving, but uh, ultimately Lord Chaitanya's order is, uh, is final. So if he says, go, everyone, everyone has to follow. And uh, Lord Nityananda came here, but he didn't quite uh, just uh, preach about Krishna. In fact, mainly he preached about Chait uh, Lord Nityananda. And uh, he would chant, Baja Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, Namari. So he would just encourage everyone to chant Lord, Nityana, Lord Chaitanya's names, follow Lord Chaitanya's instructions, worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Say Jana Gauranga Bhaji, say Amar. Those people who make Lord Chaitanya their life and soul, uh, then uh, I give myself. They're very dear to me. They become, uh, they become my life and soul. Anyway, I don't know uh, if that's there. So here in this song, uh, this concept that uh, Lord Nityananda is preaching, but his preaching is, anyway, give it back. Huh? But his preaching, it's a question of what, uh, what title it's under. Uh, he would come here uh, and he traveled around. Actually, his base was in, uh, his base was in Calcutta. And interestingly, when, uh, before he left, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, by the way, because now he was a sannyasi and he was a avatthuta. He says, by the way, I want you to get married. So that was like a double dose. One thing is to go away. The other thing is now he should get married. Um, anyway, I'm thinking why, and that's a long, long story, but I don't want to... Uh, go uh, in that direction, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda saw that uh, actually the line of Krishna consciousness would come through not only from Lord Nityananda, but actually uh, come through uh, his um, wife, uh, Janava Devi, uh, and uh, from there down to Goswamis and like that to the uh, present day. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made his base in a place uh, which is called uh, Kardaha, which is just uh, in Calcutta. And uh, who's been to, uh, where, did you go to, uh, what's it called? Where the Panihati? No, you didn't go. Anyway, if you go to Panihati, from there, it's uh, just a distance. In fact, if you go to Panihati, Srila Prabhupada considered it very important. That's where the Panihati Doichadi uh, festival uh, took place, the Chip Rice Festival. Who re who's read Chaitanya Charitamrita just a little? Well, we should just send everybody else who hasn't read it out. Um, yeah. So, uh, hmm. I was just talking with Govinda Swami some days back, and he was telling me about one of, not our God brothers, but just one, one devotee who uh, we know well. And he, uh, how he read the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam eight times, studied the Bhagavatam eight times, and read Chaitanya Chaitanya Rita 15 times. 
So that's how devotees should be spending their time reading Srila Prabhupada's books. So, uh, so, so Lord Nityananda went to, now if you go to Pan, uh, Panihati, it's right on the bank of the Ganga. And there's this beautiful banyan tree there. And uh, banyan trees live for a long, long time. And it was under that banyan tree that Lord Nityananda sat. And he gave his mercy to Raghunath Das Goswami. This is how our line of disciplic succession is coming coming down so uh, if you go there and you look up the river on a cloudless day and not a sort of a misty day which is a little difficult because it's generally quite misty over in Calcutta and due to due to a combination of pollution as well as the uh, uh, moisture in the air, the humidity. So, uh, I'm really out of practice of talking. I'm not used to speaking. I'm used to writing, I'm not used to speaking. And uh, I don't know, when was the last class I gave? December. December. So, uh, then you'll see a peninsula that comes out. And that was the uh, area that Lord Nityananda lived. And it was from there that he would travel up and down both sides of the Ganga. Uh, it was a, uh, it's a very wonderful place. It, its uh, origin was that it was actually not there. Uh, uh, Lloyd Nityananda actually uh, liked that area over there and there was a, a Muslim landholder and uh, Lloyd Nityananda came to him and asked him uh, please uh, I'd like you to give me this land so that I can live here so uh, so landholder was he was uh, very uh, unfavorable and atheistic uh, to Sankatan movement and to Lord Nityananda. So he said, well, listen, now they're uh, standing on, uh, on the bank of the uh, Ganga. So he pointed out towards the Ganga. He said, well, listen, as far as you can throw a rock in that direction, you can have, you can have the land. What can you, what can you do? You throw rock in the water. So where can you, well, how can you stay there? But anyway, Lord Nityananda threw the rock, and when he threw the rock in that distance, then the land came up, and uh, it became a peninsula, and that's where, that's where he stayed. Obviously, the uh, landowner became a devotee, and uh, he sort of. <laughs> changed his mood. You can just imagine someone throws a rock in the Ganges and all of a sudden the land comes up. Uh, and not only it just, it is, doesn't come up that it's muddy and everything, but it comes up very nicely with trees and bushes and flowering plants and so on. So it just came up and Lord Nityananda was, well, thank you very much, this is very nice. And uh, so he took uh, took all that land. But technically here also is that uh, because the Ganges moves, so you're, uh, you know, many farmers, well now, now the Ganga is out that way. But before, the Ganges was actually running beside the uh, Bhaktisthanta road here. So it was right up over here. Uh, and uh, before that, it was all the way out. You had to walk like, you had to walk half an hour before you actually got to the Ganga from here. So this moving of the Ganga means that, uh, you know, people have property and their property gets flooded. So 
uh, technically they don't lose that property. It remains theirs. They can't cultivate it when it's under the water. But if sometime later that water moves, uh, then uh, and the land comes up, then there's your land again. So, uh, although it may have been uh, the property of the landowner uh, previously and it was submerged, but now it emerged uh, again, and so uh, there was the land. And from there they, they would uh, preach. So it's a uh, very holy place, uh, many, many, many pastimes uh, took took place over there. Uh, Lord Nityananda had these two wives, Janava and uh, Basudha. And uh, Janava Devi, she, she was uh, more the preacher, and Basudha, she had uh, children, uh, although Janava was the one who uh, cared for for instance, uh, hmm? Virabhadra Goshai, uh, as well as uh, another devotee, uh, which they, uh, which they, where's my telephone? Another devotee whom they, uh, what's it called? Uh, adopted. I'm just, uh, looking up something here that Indrajuna Maharaj sent me and which is another another song but uh, more more important than that was uh, so, so how does it sing open? And uh, and Chaitanya Chaitam read you'll read about uh, Purushottam uh, Das and uh, he had a son and his son name was Kanu Thakur. So uh, when Kanu Thakur was born. His mother passed away. Uh, in those days, uh, there were very poor health services, and the chances of uh, fatality in childbirth, uh, both for the mother and the child, or either one or the other, was relatively quite high. So the mother passed away, and when Lord Nityananda uh, heard about this, then he sent Janava to bring the child with them and they took them to Kardaha and they raised them as their own son. So he was, uh, Lord Nityananda used to always call him Shishu Krishna Das, little baby Krishna. I don't know how you call an adult baby Krishna, but it, that was what he called him, Shishu Krishna Das. So they would, I guess, they would probably call him Shishu. So he be, uh, he became a uh, very important Vaishnava, and uh, he also wrote uh, many uh, many songs. So there was a lot of uh, wonderful pastimes uh, that took uh, place in that area. But here the important thing is that Lord Nityananda's preaching was unrestricted. Uh, whether it was someone who was trying to steal from him, poison him, uh, it didn't make uh, any difference. Lord Nityananda freely gave uh, love for Krishna and love for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, to that person. Baja uh, Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, Laha Gauranga, Namare. Sejana Gauranga Bhaje Shri Hamara Pranage. And Lord, this is 
from another song. Someone go on the on the internet and look it up. Paja Gauranga, Kaha Gauranga, La Gauranga, Namade. So Paja Gauranga, worship uh, uh, Lord Chaitanya. Uh, chant about, speak about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, make Lord Chaitanya your life and soul. Those devotees who embrace these practices, then they get the full mercy of Lord Nityananda. So this was the uh, song that uh, he used to sing. If you look at it, this was a, uh, if you look it up, it's called, it's called Baja Goranga Kaha Goranga. Anyway, it has another name. Uh, but, and it's not an anonymous uh, song, but it's, uh, there, there's much more to it than this uh, somewhere else. Goranga buliya dhukapahu tuliya nachiya nachiya bedore Goranga bajila Goranga japile hoye dukira abasana re You got you got that song Everybody's uh, got it. You probably get different versions of it. Is this the only one? Okay, this goes like this. Bacha Gauram.
Krishna, 
cut it. Okay, now we are further blessed with Lord Nityananda's mercy in the form of Devamita Swami Raj and Niranjan Swami Maharaj. And uh, before uh, Devamrita Maharaj speaks a little about <laughs> Sarabhi Kunj, then, uh, and then after that we're going to uh, sing the song which starts off Boro Shuke Kabor Gai. So you have to look that up. And uh, just across the Jalangi and the little downstream is the uh, marketplace of the uh, holy name Surabi Kunj, it's called. And it's a wonderful place. Uh, you should go there, you should r roll in the dust. Did you go there too? Tomorrow you go. So you go there, you roll in the dust of uh, Lord Nityananda's lotus feet, and this was where he was distributing the holy name according to the price of a devotee's faith. And uh, according to your faith, you get a different kind of holy name. But in any case, let's hear from Devamrita Swami for a little while, and then we'll just do, well then we can just chant that song. Hare Krishna, Jai Nithai. This song makes me feel, makes me feel so grateful for Lord Nichananda in terms of what he is giving being incomparable. The marketplace of the holy name allows for no material assertion. You can't fight your way into the market based on your material abilities. And as His Holiness Shiva Ramaraj was saying, depending on your faith, how much faith you're carrying, Shraddhavan, that determines your realization of the holy name. How much is the holy name of Krishna our everything? We can look at all phases of our life, all the challenges, all the tests, as opportunities to come closer to pure chanting. It's amazing that Lord Nishananda is willing to give that away, give access to pure chanting. He's willing to give that if we will take advantage. So this song about the marketplace of the Holy Name makes you feel gratitude beyond what you would normally expect of yourself. What is it that Lord Nichananda is giving so easily, but are we accepting it so easily? That's what I wonder about. It's easily being given, but we're putting up resistance. So when we hear this song chanted, we start to slacken our resistance. And by the pure chanting, in the association of the Vaishnavas, our heart softens. And one day we'll approach that state in which the heart liquefies. That's a high aspiration, but that aspiration is genuine, it's bona fide. We were speaking earlier today amongst the Russian devotees about how Lord Chaitanya reveals Lord Nityananda and then Lord Nityananda reveals Lord Chaitanya even more. So the two work together like that for our benefit. 
Lord Nichananda is described by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasi Thakur as the sole proprietor of service to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who allows you to see the significance of Lord Nichananda. Otherwise, you most likely won't see it. We were discussing about how Lord Chaitanya announced to his followers about a great personality that has just come to Navadweep. None of them understood what the hint was about. And then Lord Chaitanya told him, I had this dream of an extraordinary person on a chariot coming to my house asking 10 or 20 times, is this where Nimai Pandit lives? Is this where Nimai Pandit lives? And Lord Chaitanya described the person in his dream dressed like Balaram, wearing blue. And he announced to Lord Chaitanya, because Lord Mahaprabhu asked, who are you? He said, tomorrow we will meet and you will find out everything. So in telling the assembled devotees about this dream, Lord Titania sent out Srivas and Haridas Thakur, go find this extraordinary personality. They looked everywhere in Navadweep for nine hours, all the villages, nothing, no one they did, did they find. They went to the homes of sannyasis, grihastas, even atheists who are envious of Vaishnavas looking for this extraordinary personality. Finally, they went back to Mahaprabhu and told him, we don't see anyone. We didn't find anyone. Lord Chaitanya said, come with me. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasi Thakur says, this shows that you need Mahaprabhu to show you where Nichananda is, and then you'll rely on Nichananda to show you more about who Lord Chaitanya is. So that teamwork is so important that it's a mystery, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasi Thakur, whose appearance day we'll be celebrating soon. It's a mystery, he said, that even by the Lord's will, Srivas and Haridas Thakur couldn't find Lord Nichananda. They're showing you something. You can't find him by material methods. So this song that will be sung increases our gratitude and we thank Lord Garanga for revealing Lord Nichananda and we thank Lord Nichananda for giving us deeper understanding of Lord Goranga. Join it all. Join it all. Vive la conscience de Krishna. Vive Nithai. Ok, what can I say? Uh, well, in the, uh, in the association of uh, um, advanced Vaishnavas, uh, I felt a little more than floating on the ocean, as it was described in uh, the song Guna Nithai. Gunamai Gunamai. Uh, yes, it is said that Lord Nityananda, those who followed him seriously, deeply, they were drawn in the ocean. Others were just floating. So I was, I don't know what you felt, I was a little floating. Uh, but by the, seriously, by the association of uh, advanced uh, glorified uh, devotees, uh, I had a little deep <laughs> and I felt that uh, yes, with Lord Nityananda everything seems uh, much more easy, much more easy.
you feel like actually Krishna consciousness, chanting Hare Krishna, aspiring for some uh, love in your heart, that may not be so uh, impossible by His mercy. It's, you know, that's a little feeling. So, um, grateful for the association of those who can give us this access to the reality of uh, 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 happy Krishna consciousness and love of Krishna. Okay. Is it okay? <laughs> Maintenant, uh, <laughs> I can share one little feeling. Also, it's uh, maybe, uh, uh, anyway, whatever. I am here, I have to speak. Eh? Um, um, yes, what do I, what could we ask? Uh, as blessings from Lord Nityananda, uh, I was feeling three, three well-known things. First, to um, Lord Nityananda, give me the desire to not have any more desire, material desires, and you will help me for that. Give me the desire to not have any more material desires. So that, secondly, <coughs> Secondly, I can, I can be useful in your uh, compassionate mission of uh, ISKCON, uh, Sri Prabhupada's mission of compassion to others. Something practical, some service. And thirdly, uh, Lord Nityananda, uh, being uh, somehow washed of uh, dirty, things and uh, engage as a uh, uh, service of the Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, then you will uh, give me access to the lotus feet of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, in Vrindavan, and like that may I, maybe I will have some idea of the beauty of uh, Shishi Radha Krishna's uh, loving pastimes. Lord Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai 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 you have to help me. Different currency of uh, faith purchases a different type of name. So you don't remember either? You have them. Can I, you got them ready? Uh, yes, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, uh, who, who then reveals to us actually all of these wonderful uh, truths of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda. Have you really got it? No. Does anybody else remember? You remember. Okay. Huh? <laughs> it's all the better. <laughs> okay, so first. Thank you. Okay. Now, when you, uh, according to the uh, So here are the, these are the uh, commodities available for sale in the marketplace of the Holy Name. So if you want to just purchase Krishna's name, so uh, that's, uh, the taste of that is something like sugar cane juice. Anybody been t drinking sugar cane juice while you're here? Very good for the liver. Uh, very healthy. It's, uh, so, uh, the holy name uh, is uh, like sugar cane juice. 
Now, if you're not satisfied just with uh, sugarcane juice, uh, if you want something that's uh, sweeter, and boy, that stuff's sweet. Uh, then what's the next name? Uh, the next name that one can have is Rupa Yukta Nam. Krishna's name, which is blessed with a form of Lord Krishna, so that when you chant the holy name, automatically within the mind, Krishna's form appears. So that's like liquid molasses. Then we have the next quality of the holy name is called Guna Yuktana. Nama, Arupa, Guna. Yukta means like yoga, yoga, connected. So, Guna, Yukta, Nam. So, that's compared to solid molasses. If you know what molasses, all these different types of sugar are. Then, you have the Lord's name imbued with Krishna's pastimes. Everyone asks, you know, can you think of Krishna's pastimes? Well, if you got the currency, then yes, you can purchase. So it's called Lila Yuktanam, and we'll get to what the currency is. Then, uh, when the holy name is imbued with transcendental mellow, which is called Rasita Nam, when there is Rasa. So it's compared to rock candy. Uh, the Lila Yuktanam, so it's compared to sugar and Rasita Nam. And then, beyond that, is the goal of chanting, uh, and that is Sarvarasa Yukta Nam. Uh, it's the full potency, the fully empowered, or fully revealed holy name, and that's compared to the candy that's made from rock candy. Okay, now, uh, the Currency. Okay, so how do you purchase these? Okay, Shraddha. If you have, if you're on this stage of Shraddha, it's compared to about, uh, well, it's not, same isn't here. Anyway, it's a uh, conch shell, I think. So it's the lowest level of currency. You know, like in India now, if we're at one rupee, uh, sorry, one pice. You can't get any lower than one pice. Uh, so that's the lowest, Shraddha. And when you just have faith in the holy name, then you purchase that Nam, name, based on your faith. When you have, have come to the stage of Nishta, steady devotional service, at that stage, one Actually, when one chants at the stage of Nishta, then Rupa Yuktanam, then the form of Lord Krishna is purchased by one's devotion. When you come to Ruchi or taste, then that is Guna Yuktanam, uh, which means that you have the name, Krishna's form is manifest as well as his qualities. Then when we come to the stage of what comes after Ruchi? Asakti, so attachment. So that's compared to like a half a silver coin. Up to now we were going with just a little concho and then one eighth of a silver coin and Ruchi is one quarter silver coin. Asakti is one half of a silver coin uh, and well, with that, what we have, Sonama, Guna, Rupa, then you have Lila Yuktana. So, Bhaktivinoda Thakur answers your question about thinking of Krishna's pastimes. When you come to the stage of Asakti, you will naturally think of Krishna's pastimes. Uh, especially if you've read Krishna's pastimes, and if you've heard them. If you don't he uh, hear them, they will still come, but it may require more 
concentration and further purity. So then what is beyond the Sakti? Bhava. So ecstatic devotional service. When we come to ecstatic devotional service, then that is called Rasitala. Now, it is full of transcendental taste. Finally, we get out of the material energy. And that's considered to be a whole silver coin. And what comes after silver? Gold. Yes. So, when you have prema, then you will have the golden holy name, uh, which, as was mentioned before, was Sarvarasa Juktanam, Sarvarasa. In other words, when one comes to the stage of real Ras. Rasita and Ras, Sarvarasa. So that is, uh, so according to our, the quality of our faith, the quality of our devotional spiritual advancement, to that degree, we naturally acquire, purchase a different name. And it is, in one sense, whose was this? It was a, it is a artificial effort to go to these. It's not a bad artificial effort, uh, in that sometimes, oh, I want to think about Krishna's form. All right, you think of Krishna's form. But that comes anyway. It will come depending on the purification of our heart. Okay, you've got this uh, song, Boro Krishna Kabul Gai, and I don't even know what time is it? Oh, almost nine o'clock. Oh, of course, uh, you, you know how, don't, don't, don't try and follow. You just play the drum. Uh, hmm. Here we got, uh, we didn't have any preliminary rehearsal. Now you can do what you always do. <laughs> Bora shuke kabogai, bora shuke kabogai. Vrindavashi, 
Yeah. 
Bhakti Bhakti Vino Dekhi Kai Bhakti Vino Dekhi Kai Bhakti Vino Dekhi Kai Bhakti Vino Dekhi Kai No shout, but no time for sleep. Johnny time. 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 As the bachelors would say, do it from the heart, do it from the heart. Now from the heart, call out to Lord Nityananda.
Shankar Bhakti Vinod, the seventh Goswami, he writes as follows. I'm singing news of the greatest happiness at the place known as Surabi Kunj in Srinavadweep. The marketplace of the holy name has now been opened and Lord Nityananda himself is the proprietor. Such wonderful things are going on in that blissful marketplace. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is selling the pure holy name wholesale merely for the price of one's faith. Seeing the assembly of devotees eagerly waiting to purchase the name, Lord Nityananda first examines each of them to test their qualification. Then he sells them the name by bargaining for his price accordingly. Oh, my dear friends, if you really want to buy this pure holy name, then just come along with me, for I'm now going to meet with this Nityananda Mahajan. Thus you will finally be able to acquire the pure holy name. And I will also take my due commission, and in this way all three of us will fulfill our desires. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is so extraordinarily merciful, accepting only one's faith in the holy name, he bestows the topmost divine bliss. When Nitai sees a tear welling in someone's eye, upon chanting the name of Goranga! instantly gives his support to that person. Indeed, he bestows all divine opulences. He gives that person genuine realization of the pure teachings of Sri Krishna as found in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. While displaying all this inconceivable mercy, he pays no attention to one's caste, material wealth, mundane knowledge, or physical ability. Now, dear friends, please reject all of Maya's entangling snares. If you're a householder, then remain at your home. If you're renounced, then just live in the forest. Just see, we're living in the forest. There's so many trees. Either way, nothing more will trouble you. We no longer need to fear the terrible age of quarrel for the most merciful Lord Nityananda gives the holy name to anyone and everyone, even to the lowest among men. Bhaktivinod loudly calls out and proclaims to all, other than the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, there is no shelter. We should say that all together. Other than the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, there is no shelter. Other than the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, there is no shelter. Other than the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda, there is no shelter. Hare Krishna. Um, I think that uh, as much we could. We could Could, we could continue, and generally it's easier to continue if we stand up and dance. That's why I told the devotees not to jump up and down, because if a hundred people start jumping up and down on this ceiling, then uh, Devamrita Maharaj may no longer have facility for his, uh, for his assistance, and we, may, and we may be one floor down. So, yeah, you can't jump up and down here, it's too... As it was, Raja Kumar was a little afraid of all the trees over here and all the plants. That... So, uh, let's... 
let's uh, conclude and we can uh, we can just chant Hare Krishna and uh, I'm just going to get the uh, you want to go? Okay, Deva Mita Swami Maharaj is going to go. Thank you so much for sharing your enthusiasm, wisdom, and kindness to come. Jai Deva Mita Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. You'll stay with us, Nandra Maharaj? Or you want to go, huh? Or just 20 minutes. If you feel comfortable. Wanna go? You wanna stay or go? Oh, oh. yeah, he needs a Alvan put uh the shape and rock fella. In any case, um, it's a rare opportunity that uh, we get to be together. Bhaktivinoda Thakur envisaged from France, America, Russia, especially, he was emphasizing Ukraine, Hungary. I don't know if Bhaktivinoda Thakur is emphasizing Hungary, but uh, we're here and from so many other places, devotees all over the world getting together and chanting Hare Krishna. It's a, uh, it's the vision of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Priti Vitiya Chiyatra Nagara Adigram. One is, is that we're going and chanting in every town and village around the world and the other is that devotees from every town and village around the world are coming here to chant Hare Krishna together and if you've noticed this is the best place to chant Hare Krishna there's no better place than Shida Mayapur it is the place of the holy name and if you can't if you can't play that, you can play the harmonium. I can play without the speaker. Um, too much technical. Oh, just like that. Yeah.